Hi, I'm Steve from Absolute Lifting and Safety. Today I want to talk about testing and tagging lifting chains and fittings just like this one here. So how often should lifting equipment be inspected, tested and certified? In Australia for example, chain slings for lifting should generally be inspected every six months or more frequently if subjected to severe conditions or usage. If one of these chain slings failed during a lift and caused property damage, or worse still, injury or loss of life, and it has not been certified by a competent person with a current test tag attached like this one here, the ramifications would be devastating. At Absolute Lifting and Safety, we specialise in below the hook lifting devices. So what is a below the hook lifting device? Lifting devices may contain components such as slings, hooks and rigging hardware. In other words, a below the hook lifting device is a tool or mechanical device that attaches to a crane or other lifting apparatus and secures a load so that it can be moved safely from one location to another. I'm often asked, who can inspect lifting equipment? Lifting equipment should be visually inspected by the operator prior to use. This does not, however, replace the need for regular inspections, testing and tagging that is required to be carried out by a competent person in alignment with Australian standards. A competent person must be suitably trained, be qualified by knowledge and practical experience and must have a J Eagle 1 eye test every two years. Testing and tagging of heavy lifting equipment like chains and wire ropes requires specialist apparatus like this 120 ton mobile test bed truck. Competent testing technicians use calibrated equipment like this test bed to test a range of lifting gear like slings, chains, clutches, component fittings and lifting devices. There are also other industry mechanical testing facilities. In our testing lab you will find test towers, hydro jaws and counterweights for load testing. A visual inspection of lifting and safety equipment won't always tell you if it's safe under load. Here's an example of an assembly that has failed the load test due to permanent set deformation. If you were to use this assembly on a heavy lift, it is likely it would fail and the result could be catastrophic. Unless proof tested to validate the working load limit, there is no way of knowing if a chain or lifting device will fail. If you want to learn more about how to test and tag your lifting equipment, check out our website or give us a call on 07 3205 7000. Can we help you with your lifting and safety requirements? Absolutely we can.